today we are outside and it's a pretty special day because we are going to shoot our pregnancy reveal today. We're starting our day off with Sakai acting a damn fool because why? Stay still. Stay still. <laughs> he just fell back. Sit down. What you eating? What you eating? Now you don't know. He woke up. All he kept saying was donut, 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 donut. So we came to grab some vegan donuts. The baby? Mm hmm. This is the creme brulee, and this is the strawberry something. What? Greg ate his, he had a spiced chai, and I have a matcha. Look at the cutest straw ever. I've never seen a straw this cute. It's a heart. I'm not so much of a like donut or sweet breakfast person. I'm more of a like savory and maybe a little sweet on the side, like a French toast or something. But um, this is what we're doing today, so. I gotta eat. I love how crispy the top is. All right. Mm. If you're in San Diego, Chula Vista, make sure to check out the donut bar. They have um, vegan donuts. I'm also making a charcuterie board, but a vegan one. You guys know we don't eat any meat, so... Um, I came to Trader Joe's to grab a few things and I think we might have to hit up sprouts for a few things as well and I've never made a charcuterie board before but it's basically a cheese board with like typically made with like meats fruits and like savory and sweet like dips um, nuts it's basically a whole bunch of random things that you know you just put on a board, decorate it really cute, and snack on. So that's what I'm gonna make today. Wish me luck. Um, it should be fine though for the picnic. That's what's on the list to do today. Pick it up. 
That one's stuck. Look, pick this one up. Oh, there's nothing there. Let's see if it's gonna come. Oh, it's coming, it's coming. You see it? It's coming to eat it. Wow, the fish ate it. You wanna throw one for the turtle? Why are you just running your head in there? Not hungry, right, the turtle not trying to eat it. Like, what's it doing? They about to come and eat his stuff. Or hers, I don't know. After the supermarket, we headed back home and I went ahead and created my charcuterie board. And this is the final results. How cute did my charcuterie board come out? Like, it really exceeded my expectations. It was delicious and so aesthetically pleasing to look at. You guys, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how I made this charcuterie board. That's about makeup pretty quick and it's looking good. So we decided to do our picnic um, later on in the day, like right before sunset because it's supposedly like perfect for lighting. We're running a little late, but I think we should have enough time. Um, we're headed there now, and it's about three hours till sunset. Hopefully we can get everything set up and shoot and be done before the sun goes down. And now we're loading the things onto this handy dandy little tool right here. I'll make sure to link one on my Amazon storefront, so check out the description box for that. I keeps trying to eat all the crackers. What? It's a good thing I bought the box because he would have been beating up the charcuterie board already. Let me see your outfit. You look cute. Outfit? Yeah, outfit. Crackers. Mmm. Yummy. Yeah, you look cute, puppy. Okay, so let's cut to the chase. If you are here to learn how to shoot your own photo shoot or video, let's just say it's not the most exciting thing in the moment. It's very much awkward, especially when you are outdoors. You have to set up a tripod, one or two or maybe three, depending on how many angles you want if you're doing a video. If it's just a photo, then just one should be fine, straightforward. I went into this with help, but I mostly ended up shooting our pregnancy reveal alone because Greg had like a freak accident. You see him here. He's trying to act cool and chill, but he was really suffering. <laughs> His eyes was hurting really bad. Zakai accidentally uh, scratched a piece of his... I don't know what it's called but like when you get the laser surgery he like scraped off a piece of his eye there's a baby here baby yeah there's a baby here can you give baby kiss the baby kiss that's my leg but if you are shooting a video I would highly suggest to somewhat know what you're going to say or if you're not going to say anything, somewhat know what you want to do. I went into this winging it completely. I did not know what I was going to say or do. The only thing I knew I wanted to show was the sonogram pictures. Instead, I put a lot more focus Open into it. the visuals where I wanted the scene to be. <laughs> Is that a dinosaur? Is that a dinosaur? It's a dog. What is it? <laughs> a dog. It's not a dog. dog. No, it's not a dinosaur and it's not a dog. What is it? It's a It's a what? <laughs> it's a baby. Baby. It's a baby. <laughs> it's a baby dinosaur. Dog. It's a dog. <laughs> baby dog. Baby dog. It's not a baby dog. It's your brother or sister. 
Yeah, it's a baby. You big brother. Big brother. We don't know that. He's like, yeah, whatever. I wanted the scene to give almost like a cottage feel with nudes and greenery and this little house in the back. I don't know what it is, but it worked perfectly. The only problem we had in this scene was that we were kind of on a hill. So things were hard to like keep stable, but we made it work. And I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. As far as devices used, I used my iPhone and we did have our Nikon camera that shoots in 4K, but I ended up just using my iPhone footage because it was easier to get out of my phone to edit. If I were to do this again, I would definitely hire a professional videographer or photographer because although this is very much doable to DIY, it would have been a lot more stress-free had I had more people hands-on to help with moving the camera, for instance, and just attending to the vision. Um, I felt like I had to do a lot um, just to get the photos and the shots that I wanted. It would have been a lot easier or more enjoyable if I were to just chill and just have someone else worry about all of that. But I cannot take away from the fact that we got an amazing video at the end of the day and we spent a lot less than we would have hiring a professional. So I guess just weigh your pros and cons and ultimately decide what's best for you. All right, so let's get into shooting with a toddler. I used snacks as bribes. <laughs> for example, Zakai really liked the crackers. So I had him feed me this piece of cracker and I got this super cute mm -hmm. shot. Tasty. And then he wouldn't stop feeding me. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you. If you have a gimbal, use it. If not, no big deal. But it did come in handy. It's a love and hate that I have with this gimbal. Sometimes it acts crazy. But on this day, lucky for me, it worked well. It's basically used to hold your phone or any device. And it keeps the shot very stable when you're moving. So it was helpful to get cinematic footage. Your eye is swollen. Your eye is swollen. I was very adamant about wanting different scenes just to keep it interesting, like real cinematic. So I made sure to do a few scenes, different shots, different ways going up and going down the stairs, incorporating greenery and just really focusing on the textures like the brick and the wood to bring it that warm feeling. I did a few without you, with him, so maybe we could do both. I will say it also helps visiting the scene. If you're going outdoors, make sure to go maybe a few days prior to shooting just to get a feel and somewhat draft out what where you want to be and how you want to shoot just to get your creative mind going so that when you're there, you have... A little bit of an idea of how you want to go how you want things to flow you can even take it a step further and when you're visiting prior to the shoot get some footage of like maybe the trees or the flowers or what have you in the scene that you might not be paying attention of the day of so just like shots that doesn't really incorporate you but incorporates the scene you can use that as fillers in your video and it's it's lovely. That's it's 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 what gives it life. Okay? Okay. Go back to Dada. If you're shooting this with a toddler and other people, you have to have a lot of patience and you cannot be afraid of redoing the shot. It's your vision. So, in order for it to come to life, you have to make sure you have the patience to get it right.
Babe, I need you to stand there again. Can I have that car, Zakai? Okay? Can I see? Car? Yeah, can I can I borrow? Thank yes. you. You sharing? You are so sweet. Car? Can you go to Dada? Go Dada? Yeah, go. Here, go. Just go. Here I was just playing with angles, especially since I knew he would keep going up and down the stairs, I could get a better view of what it would look like. Watch when I move the camera now, how much better it's going to look. So much better and if you're going to go before the sun sets make sure you give yourself at least three hours it took us yeah. about two ish to get all of this done before the sun went down and that included decorating you know getting the tripods where they needed to be and moving it around and taking pictures and redoing <laughs> it was quite a day but it was so worth it wait till you see the final results of this pregnancy reveal video by the way if you're enjoying this video go ahead and hit the like button it really helps the algorithm push out my content to more people like you and make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any upcoming videos also drop a comment in the comment box let me know will you be trying to diy your own video shoots or will you be hiring a professional to do it instead Thank you for watching this video and if you are a new subscriber i want to personally thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel for liking this video and leaving a comment i really appreciate you guys you guys don't even know stay tuned for more pregnancy vlogs